Hello everybody, Angel Ice Storm here, and welcome back to part two of the New Year's special. And I'm finishing off with part two, Puppy Post, Paw news, fan updates, and theories for Paw Patrol fans just like you. And I want to give a special thank you and shout out to Dalmatian101 for providing me a link to Paw Patrol Idea Fandom. Now, with the Paw Patrol fa idea fandom, from where I can see it, is a place where fans, Paw Patrol enthusiasts, can share ideas of like what they, of like what they want want to see in Paw Patrol. You know, like come up with ideas of what would Paw what could Paw Patrol do that will make the show exciting more. Like, mix, gather up some more fans. Basically, it's a fandom site where fans and Paw Patrol enthusiasts can share their own personal, you know, their personal in in intake on what, of what they would do if they were writers of the Paw Patrol. Basically, create, create any kind of, like, ideas for Paw Patrol, for their, you know, just for, just for fun and for their... And for their own spin take on it. Anyway, <clears throat> Dalmatian 101 showed me a link to Paw Patrol idea fandom of Paw Patrol the Goosebumps movie. And all honesty, I find it really intriguing. Like, I find it really interesting because I'm a little, a little recap of what the Goosebumps is. <clears throat> Goosebumps is a storybook created by R.L. Stein, and the Goosebumps is a whole series of gross, spooky, and scary um, tales filled with different kinds of monsters. Even Goosebumps cr created a movie, there wasn't even a movie created by the book series itself called Goosebumps that was in theaters in 2015. In Oct on October sixteenth, and that and that movie became like a big success. That a sequel was made called Goosebumps Two: Haunted Halloween, that per that released in theaters on October nineteenth, two thousand eighteen, in the UK. But I I watched both of these movies and I really love them. I mean, like any. Because, like, I find, like, monsters and supernatural really interesting. I feel like, I kind of like any monster movie, but as long as it's not too gory or to the extreme extent that, like, they'll probably give me nightmares for weeks. And Dalmatian 101 mentioned that he's real, not a big fan of the Goosebumps series and like I completely understand and let me tell you I mean I've heard about the Goosebumps books and the Goosebumps TV series I mean I've watched a few episodes on them namely like the werewolf of fever swamp and werewolf skin and I believe there's a few other episodes I've watched from it but I really like the goose the Goosebumps movies it's really good I'm hoping for a for a trilogy the third se third movie of it Anywho, here's <clears throat> the Paw Patrol idea for Paw Patrol the Goosebumps movie. <clears throat> Paw Patrol the Goosebumps movie is an upcoming movie based on the TV show Paw Patrol created by Keith Chapman. It's also based on the Scholastic Goosebumps books written by Arl Stein. It is to be released on October 17th, 2025. And just a heads up now... This is fan made. This is not one hundred percent. This is not one hundred percent real. There is a sequel coming in twenty twenty three. We just need to be patient, and hopefully later this year, we'll be able to get some leaks leaks to the uh, Paw Patrol the Mighty Movie. Production companies is Paramount Pictures, Nickelodeon Movies, Spin Master Entertainment, and Scholastics Entertainment Incorporated. 
The log line of the film is, Liberty is excited. A new neighbor is moving to Avengers City right next door to the lookout. The new neighbor is a beautiful girl named Hannah, who quickly became, becomes best friends with Liberty. However, Hannah's dad forbids the two girls to see each other, and Liberty doesn't know why. So she calls the Paw Patrol, the pups over to help get her to the bottom of this. Liberty learns that Hannah's dad is Arl Stein, author of the best-selling Goosebumps series, and all of his monsters are real. When the monsters begin terrorizing Avenger City, Liberty, Chase, and Marshall must team up with Hannah and Stein to get the monsters back in their books, and Stein will need to learn how uncool it is to shut everyone out. The movie is a sequel to Paw Patrol the Mighty Movie. Cal Brunker will also be the director of this movie. Only this time he's gonna do it with Rob Letterman, the director of the first Goosebumps movie from 2015. And the opening title logo is Paramount Pictures and Nickelodeon Movies Present in association with Scholastic Entertainment Incorporated and a Spin Master Entertainment production. <coughs> When I read this, in all honesty, I feel like that this is going to be, like, really interesting. I feel like that this could be, like, a really cool, dynamic, um, crossover. Like, you got the preschool TV show of, for Paw Patrol, and you got, like, storybooks that are written for, like, for, for, like, fifth graders, horror fantasy books, combined into, like, one mega crossover trilogy. And, well, in all honesty, I think that I mean, like, I wouldn't... I feel like that would be too much, like, a bit of, like, a... I wouldn't say a rip-off. Well, only a little bit. But more like a copyright version of the Goosebumps movie. Because in the Goosebumps movie, you got Zack... A kid who moved into the town of Madison with his mom after his dad passed away. And he meets and fell in love with Hannah. He became friends with a shy, sociable uh, kid named Champ. And together, along with Stein... Slappy, they stop, work together to stop Slappy, an evil ventriloquist puppet who wants to get revenge on Earl Stein for trapping him along with all of the, the monsters he ever created in the books. And then in the sequel, there are these two young boys and the main, the boy's um, older sister who found a ventriloquist puppet a.k.a. Slappy, and he brought all the mo Goosebumps monsters back to life, and there were a few callbacks, like the Werewolf of Fever Swamp, there was the the Embodible Snowman, you get, and there were more new, um, Goosebumps characters that have yet to be seen, but in the end of the second movie, Slappy put Arl Stein in the book, and I really want to see in the third sequel, like, what, in the tr trilogy of what will happen next. Because in the first movie, after Stein made another sto another book to bring Hannah back, he saw, like, um, the revenge of the invisible boy. I wonder if he and Slappy will do a team-up in the trilogy. That'll be really interesting to see. I hope... That, like, the cast from the first Goosebumps and the cast from the second Goosebumps movie will come together, free Earl Stein, and stop slapping me once and for all. But as for this crossover, I think it's gonna have many, many... I think it's gonna have, like, so many different reactions. I mean, people would either like it, people would don't want like it, and people will be, like, in between, not, as in, like, they don't hate it, but at the same time, they don't love it. And I think it just really depends. I mean, like, 
I mean, I wouldn't use the Goosebumps movie, and here's why. I mean, no. I mean, I love the Goosebumps movie, but the first movie's already been done, like, seven years ago. So, I think, you know, but however, I, that would, that Paw Patrol the Goosebumps movie give me a pretty good idea. Like, maybe, like, what if Paw what if in, like, maybe, like, in season 9 or maybe season 10, there could be some half hour long crossover special, like where the pups meet different people. You know, like, like for example, maybe something in the Nick Jr. universe, maybe Blue from Blue's Clues and You. I mean, that would be pretty interesting to see. I wouldn't mind, like, a Blue's Clues and Paw Patrol crossover. That'd be kind of cool. I mean, it's like some characters, people from outside the universe, like, maybe there could be, like, characters from, like, the Animaniacs, Ralph Paulson, Tress McNeil, and Jess Harnell, a lot, maybe, like, also, like, Kevin Michael Richardson, and, um, Jason Marsden, Tara Strong. Chris Summers. Ah. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Uh, what about maybe like a wildlife themed, maybe like a wildlife themed Paw Patrol, have a long Paw Patrol episode featuring the Crab Brothers. They actually made like a voice. They actually make appearance in Nature Cat and Wild Bats with Chris and Mar being play as the Indonesian bats. I would love to, that would be like, there could be like so many different possibilities for crossover episodes. It's just, you've got to find which character, well, voice actors, first of all, that could fit into like the Paw Patrol universe. I mean, something that would, you know, really spark the adventure, the comedy, the action. But at the same time, keep it to, like, a, um, kids viewing. Like, maybe, like, Animaniacs could be one. Um, I mean, Tara Strong could be a good one. Also, Chris Summers. Oh, <gasps> even, ooh, oh, Noam Zabelberg. Zabelberg, man. Noam was the voice actor for Split Kid in the Garbage Pill Kid series. With Tara Strong, yes, and Chris Summers as well. He's also the voice actor of Billy from the Police Academy, the animated series. Yes, but the movie Police Academy made like a cartoon animated spinoff of it, so yeah. But a crossover episode would be a really good we really, like, jazz up the Paw Patrol series a little bit more. Maybe the pups can, like, meet new people and explore different places, like, the size, well, the desert, the jungle, the South Pole, the North Pole, Barkingburg. What else? Barkingburg. And Avenger City as well. And I, I mean, like, a crossover episode would be really cool. I would love to see, like, a crossover episode. If they, if Keith Chapman can do, like, has decided to do some Paw Patrol episodes with crossovers, I think it would be kind of, I think it would be a good idea to do some. I mean, that, I mean, like, the pups being in a situation that they have little to no experience with it. I mean, like, you know, so like they can, like, be adapted, learn something new, gain new experience. I think that will be really cool. I would love to see some, like, crossover episodes. I mean, like, Fairly Odd Parents did it with Jimmy Neutron. The Power Rangers did it with the old school Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. 
I mean, Animaniacs show some Looney Tune characters in it. Even what's new Scooby Doo, the Wiley E and the Rotary Me cameo, and what's new Scooby Doo. I'm thinking like Space Jam, a new legacy kind of style, where like all, like kind of like, you know, like how all the TV shows, movies, sitcoms, and cartoons, anime series from all around, from ever created by Warner Brothers came. I'm thinking like that, but with Nick Jr. and maybe some like, some like shows that I think he'd be good partnering with, partnering with. Maybe like Nick Jr. with Disney, Nick Jr. with Warner Brothers, Disney with Paramount. We need like some Paramount cartoons. I believe, well, Blue's Clues is one of them, so. Because since like Pop, the Paw Patrol movie was created by Paramount, so. I think it'd be kind of cool to see some crossover episodes, and I mean it's not one hundred percent confirmed, but I know that someone that has like a leaked photo to like the TV, like I said before, the Paw Patrol pops in their TV series form wearing their Avenger City gear, and maybe that could be like a good half hour like sub series. I would totally watch it. Maybe Liberty might be able to be in. Be in season 9 or season 10. I guess we just gotta wait and see. Because so far. I hear nothing about. New Paw Patrol episodes. Coming out. From Canada. I mean the only new Paw Patrol episodes. That are coming out. Is the Rescue Night sub series. It's supposed to be coming out this month. But I have no idea when. What day it will come out. But, I'm really looking for, but I really like, I really want, gotta thank Demi Shin 101 for this. I mean, this is like, a good, pretty good find. I mean, I feel like a crossover episode might be a pretty good idea. You know, start, take little baby steps. Maybe we should start something small, like, the Paw Patrol TV series, like, one sub, like, half hour long special. And, and if they sparks, if people sparks interest in them, then they can do, you know, more. I'm thinking, like, maybe, like, Keith Chapman could do, like, a, kind of like how Arthur did it. Like, a, like, a new, like, a new, create a new episode contest. You know, where fans, young, like, whether, regardless of age, from all around the world can Write stories, you know, write a story of, of, like, what kind of Paw Patrol episode they want. If they were the writer of the Paw Patrol, what kind of Paw Patrol episode that they would write and create. And, you know, pitch in some ideas and whichever, I mean, and whichever, um, st- ep- story idea for an episode. Story idea that the that's been met, that the team Paw Patrol team really likes win. We'll we'll get a chance to meet the team in person and work together to create the episode. You know, like <clears throat> the winners get a chance to have their own episodes be created. And featured in the Paw Patrol TV series. And. They, and even like as a, as a bonus. They can be able to like you know. Play it in the episode. I think that'd be like a really cool like um, idea. Kind of like how Arthur did it. But maybe like. Not only like the winner's. Not like the winner's story will be featured. And created into an episode. But also like the. Winners of the contest can be able to be voice acted in the show. Maybe like probably like the top top five winners for for from kids, from youth to teens to adults, so that way everyone can win. But that's just my idea. What do you guys think? Do you think like you do you think the Paw Patrol crossover episode would be a pretty good idea to see? If you were creating a Paw Patrol crossover episode, which characters, character or characters, 
you want to see in the Paw Patrol from, and from which t- um, cartoon show and why. And if you're writing a Paw Patrol episode, what kind of pa- what kind of episode would it be about? So, thank you guys so much for joining in on my Paw Patrol. Um, puppy posts, theories, news, and updates. And this concludes my New Year's Eve, my New Year's celebration. So tune in next time for more possum videos. <clears throat> and before I go, um, just a little heads up. I'm going to be starting my spring semester in college soon. Probably, probably, well, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to be starting college soon, so I won't be able to make um, YouTube videos for a while, but however, since this is, this, however, since this is a very short week, I'll probably, I'll, I'll make a YouTube video of it. Maybe my next YouTube video should be me, me discussing my OCs. Or doing a drawing video. I'll let you guys decide. Which one you want me to do for my next video. You want me to discuss about my. Paw Patrol OCs. The Wizards. Or you want me to do a drawing video. So I'll be posting. I'll be posting a um, poll in my. In my community. And whichever vote. And whichever um. But what I get the most is the one I'll be doing. But I'll let you guys decide. So thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys soon. This is Angel Eye Storm saying Happy New Year 2022. Let's hope that <clears throat> we can get things mostly back to normal. Mostly. Peace.